like this. Um, this is going to be kind of union related, and I'm happy to see a CUPE flag out there, which is great. Um, it'd be great if we'd see a lot more um, union people out here. Hello, amazing people. You're here today, and without doing anything else, that already means you still have your humanity, you have courage, and you're all so beautiful. I'm Mark, an invited, un uninvited white settler guest on the traditional territory of the Lekwungen people. Known today as the Songhees and Esquimalt Nations, I use the word uninvited because I have no permission from any of the true caretakers and original inhabitants of this land to be living here, and I acknowledge that. I say guest because none of this land is mine, and it neither belongs to the government of so-called British Columbia, nor the settler colonial entity known as Canada. <laughs> yeah. And I use the word guest. Um, Sorry, lost my spot there. Um, I use the word guest in the sense that it's a responsibility I accept to behave in such a way that is respectful to the hosts. All settlers here on Turtle Island must work to dismantle this settler colony and find all the ways to give the land back to the rightful stewards. I'm here to share a few words on the BC Teachers Federation. I reached out to the BCTF this week to see if anyone could come to show solidarity with the people of Gaza and the West Bank. I gave them several options ranging from having someone from the executive committee come here to give a speech, all the way down to simply supplying us with a brief statement of solidarity that someone could read verbatim on their behalf. I provided a fair bit of background context too, just in case the person who got my email had been getting their information from the legacy media. The BCTF president, Clint Johnston, sent me a three sentence reply after a couple of days. So and so passed your e email on to me. Thank you for your email and we appreciate the invitation. Unfortunately, a representative from the BCTF is not able to attend and we wish you the best for your event. Uh huh. So I looked at the BCTF website and social media channels. There's been no mention anywhere of what the Zionist occupation has been doing to the people of Gaza and the West Bank for the past four months. The BCTF is hiding behind one very limited statement about there being a need for a ceasefire and the return of hostages. If ethnic cleansing and genocide are taking place anywhere in the world and our settler colonial government is a supporter of the party committing ethnic cleansing and genocide, there can be no so-called neutrality. Silence is complicity. In my searching, I did find an open letter to the BCTF from way back in 2006, written by a Palestinian comrade in Vancouver, Hannah Kalas, originally from Beit Lahum. Chairperson of the Canada-Palestine Association. Here's the gist of what he wrote back then. The BCTF executive intervened in 2004 at the BC Federation of Labour Convention to derail a resolution condemning Israel's apartheid law. Canadian Zionist leaders publicly took credit for initiating that intervention. The BCTF executive was reported to have played a major role in defeating BCTF Assembly Resolution 149 in 2005 by not endorsing it. It called on the Canadian government to support the decision of the ICJ regarding Israel's apartheid law. So here's a little taste of what I wrote back to Clint, and let me know if you agree with any of this. Hi Clint, thanks for the response. Has the BCTF been involved in the anti-genocide movement in Vancouver over the past 16 weeks at all? Do you not even have any statement to show that the union representing BC's teachers wishes to take a principled stand against blatant and barbaric genocide on the part of Zionist occupation? I found a bland both sides statement on the BCTF website from almost three months ago, but I was willing to give the BCTF some credit for having donated a decent sum to UNRWA and for calling for a ceasefire but I haven't seen anything else on your website after November 9th, 2023. As the number of civilians murdered rose to 
30,000 as the number of children murdered rose to 12,000. Where is your humanity? Not a single post about the brown bodies being blown to bits daily in Palestine can be found on your feeds. You're hiding, your silence is complicity, and it is on the record. It will be remembered. You and the rest of the executive sided with genocide, Clint, when you had many opportunities to choose to be on the right side of history. Sincerely, Mark Brill, resident of Victoria, with all of his humanity intact. Bravo! Bravo! And just one last thing, I, something else I learned from Hannah Kallis yesterday. Some beat CTF members are pushing to have their pension fund be divested from both fossil fuels and arms manufacturers who supply weapons to the Zionist occupation. Check them out on Instagram and Twitter at, at BCTF Divest Now and visit their website bctfdivestnow.com. And I found out today too that um, one of those people is running for president and is hoping to get a whole slate of people to dump the people that are on the executive right now. Um, and of course, divestment isn't enough though. We need members of all the unions, the rank and file coming together in person to get organized and we need all their bodies in the street with us to stop this genocide, end the siege on Gaza, and end the Zionist occupation. Also, fire Serena Robinson. 